Hours before the audit results were announced, another crowd gathered outside the state capitol, this time protesting mask and vaccine mandates. Fox 10's Irene Snyder has been out there much of the day. She joins us live, Irene. Well, John and Christina, good evening. That protest happened early this morning, as you mentioned, outside the state capitol. Some of the people that showed up included lawmakers, health care workers. They say they are fighting for their medical freedom. Dozens of people gathered outside the state capitol this morning, many with signs in hand, protesting against vaccine mandates and masks, calling them violations of their rights and freedom. This is something that is our God given right to have freedom over our own bodies. And Grace Blosser is a health care worker. She, along with many others in the profession at Banner and Honor Health, are required to get the vaccine by November 1st. Blosser says at this point she does not trust the vaccine. I don't believe that these vaccines have been. Um, tested and proven enough. I think that they're doing more harm. Rhonda Hawkins, another health care worker at the protest, says she agrees. I'm not an anti vaxxer I've always promoted vaccines. I've always gotten my vaccines. This one I will not. Dr. Ross Goldberg at Valley Wise Health says many of the arguments against the vaccine are not valid. They're a result of misinformation. Goldberg adds that like any medication, there are possibilities for side effects, but those numbers, he says, are very low. He says the vaccine was by no means rushed. Those who worked on these vaccines were building on past mRNA research. What Pfizer and Moderna and others did was that while they were studying and going through the phase three trials, they were also making the vaccine at the same time because they had that ability to because of the finances provided by the government. Dr. Goldberg says that moving forward, the way to beat this pandemic is to get vaccinated. Public health at times will overrule individual freedoms, and we've proven it over the last 18 months that vaccinations are a big part of helping to stop the spread. And Dr. Goldberg also added to me that if you have any concerns about vaccinations to speak directly with your doctor. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.